our house on Woodlawn is three bedrooms and one bath. Right. The house has a small entryway and off to the right is a good sized living room and beyond that are three bedrooms and a bathroom. Straight ahead is a second living area that leads to the dining room and kitchen. Um, but we just spent $130,000 on a house that's only 1375 square feet. It has three bedrooms, which is good, but it only has one bathroom, so we're definitely gonna have to add another. Um, it's so cute. It is. But if we could keep this here somehow, yeah, I, I think love there's it a so couple much. light fixtures that are worth keeping. So this is living room. Yeah, but that hole that we just walked through is not going to exist anymore. Because we're going to make this the master. Oh. We've got three public spaces. Yeah. And we only need a living room and a dining room. Right. So, so make this into the master. Because yeah. we have to make a master somewhere. OK, so, so that there actually will be an entryway. OK. I can't remember if this is any good under here or not. Oh, it's so pretty. What I they mean, did. honestly, we don't even need to refinish this. No, just leave it. Next spaces. So we were in the first living room, which is now the master bedroom. We are now in the second living room. That door's gone. That door's gone. Because okay. this space is what this becomes is all master closet, master bath. Master closet, master bath. OK, gonzies. Door's gone. So, but, but wait a minute. Why does this door go away? Because that bedroom is accessible from the back hallway into the dining room. Dining room area will have like a long, oh. skinny table. And this is where it gets bad. Like, yeah. It's ah. just crumbling ah. there. Oh, look at another layer under there. I want to go down to the basement and look a little closer, because obviously something's giving down there that's yeah. doing this. Go straight back. Cute little kitchen. This has a super low ceiling, but I'm sure we can vault it. Leaning tower over brick. I wonder what made it lean like that. Well, that explains upstairs, right? Well, what made it lean is because this post is how they fixed it, which is just not a thing. Of course, we're going to need to fix that basement chimney situation and add new supports to keep it from any further cracking. On the main floor, we'll create a new master suite and an open floor plan with an upscale design to help us sell this house for top dollar. On the exterior, we need new siding and have to repair and paint a lot of the brickwork. OK, so we've got. 130 in starting. Yep. I think our renovation we can keep between 80 and 100. Okay. So all in at 230. I think we can list it for 300. Okay. That would leave us a profit of $70,000. All right. Oh, I thought that was plastic. I apologize. Whoa! fun making you guys into new switch plates. This is our most expensive house to date. All right, perfect. But we're trying to salvage a lot of things to try to offset the cost. There's beautiful hardwood floors, so we're leaving the carpet down to protect it. Just take the trim off. We got to be careful for plaster then. Yes, the be careful with the plaster. Come on, come on, come on. Ha ha. One, two, three. Thunder. Keep on. It was great because it rolled. <laughs> Watch your power line. Oh, yeah. Jump. So good about that? That's the spirit. Look at this. I think we're as flat as we can get. She's like a little tornado. She just comes in and wrecks it all up and then dips out. So walking in, got an entryway here now, and it's opened up to living room, dining room. You go all the way back through to your kitchen. The energy flow through this house is amazing. From front to back, that's nice. And then the main difference is this front living room area, we're going to make the master bedroom, and we're going to eat one of the bedrooms to make the master ensuite and walk-in closet. So we have an ensuite master. Yeah. It's going to be fabulous. And then in the back, you've got two bedrooms that share this bathroom. There's a ton of framing work going on at the house today, and Tad and Austin are rebuilding the back wall that was coming apart near the roof line. I came ready today, Austin. I don't feel good. Oh, you brought your tool bag? Woo!
So 10,800 minus 3,000 for us doing demo. We're down to 7,800. Take out the hardwood floors. We're, we're golden. Yeah. Demo day numero do. We recruited a big crew of family and friends to help us demo the plaster and lath in order to save us the $3,000 demo fee. The hardwood floors have been scrubbed and they look amazing and it cost us nothing. And we're finishing the bathrooms and the Carrera tiles are really giving us that high-end look that we need to get top dollar here. And I'm in love with the kitchen. We're installing the black countertops and they are going to look as good as I imagine they will with the green cabinets. And the backsplash is awesome, especially with the brass cabinet hardware that mom restored. We're good. I cannot wait to show George and Paula what his childhood home looks like now. Ta-da! Nice. Hi, George. Hi, Paula. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Really excited for you to see this house. But just freshened everything wow. up. New room. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> looks beautiful. It is beautiful. Still looks like Dad's house, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys ready? We are. Come on in. Wow. Wow. There's my chandelier. Okay, I already know. This chandelier <laughs> was here. I want you to know that I took that chandelier down before demolition, took it home, washed every single crystal. So now it's completely rust free. It looks and all great. the crystals are clean. Oh. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. That means a lot. It looks good. Still a family room. It still is. But it looks so much different to being open without having mm -hmm. the arch doorways and everything. Obviously, we made some changes. We opened up the entryways. There were a bunch of doors along this wall. And then all the doors, doors along here. this wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the doors. We closed all those off, but just made it a little bit more functional um, to be the living space. When we bought the house, the bones were actually really good. And one of my favorite things was that we were able to salvage the floors. And we had to patch them in some spots. Uh -huh. But we did nothing to this except clean it. I think Dad had it covered for 50 years, yeah. so he preserved it for you. Yeah, exactly. You did a great job. It does look great. So other than significantly opening up the doorway, the kitchen before was just this little U right here, and then you kind of had the walkway with pretty low ceilings. So we just opened everything up, including the ceiling. Looks amazing. It does look really good. This is the same spot where the bathroom was. All right. Does it look the same? Uh, no. <laughs> I love this subway tile. That is really pretty. And the biggest difference is it was just a stall shower. We made that a tub shower a little bit longer. And then you had a single vanity because there was an angle right. on this wall. Mm -hmm. So we got rid of that angle and we were able to do only a 48 inch, but to get a double in here since it really does it's service really these good. back two bedrooms. Nice. Yeah. This is nice. Look at the ceiling. The ceiling's nice in here, too. And that made it look big. Yeah, yeah, it makes a big difference. So this was probably considered the master bedroom. Yeah. It, yeah. Back in then time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to come Just back and see the chandeliers that my mom used to clean all the time, and the same hardware on the cabinets, and uh, the little things like that, the hardwood floors, the wall switch plates, they did a fantastic job, and they look brand new.